chat with you about how I think a lot of people are approaching decluttering all wrong. And it's a mistake I've made time and time again, so I'm not here to judge, but I do think that it slows us down. It makes decluttering harder. And I think if we can just shift how we approach decluttering slightly, it's not like some big change or anything, it suddenly becomes a whole lot easier. And I wish someone had talked this way to me earlier in my decluttering journey so that it did become easier and less stressful, but oh well, I guess I had to learn the hard way. Sometimes the only way to go is through. But I wanna chat about this in case this applies to you. And I think this especially applies to people who really have a problem with collecting, with gathering, with keeping, like I have had. So I wanna start this off by telling you about a dream I had last night. Basically, it's this recurring dream I have where it's the last day of college. I'm saying goodbye to all my friends. It's this emotional moment. And I suddenly realize I need to go check my dorm room to make sure I've packed everything up so I can load it into my car and drive across the country to my new home. But when I go to my dorm room, I suddenly realize I haven't packed a lot of my stuff. There's stuff all over the room and I need to get out like now. I'm supposed to be out of there. And it's super stressful. I start grabbing stuff and throwing it in boxes and I start wading through all these books and all these clothing items. And weirdly in these dreams, every time the dorm room looks different, you know how in dreams it's always in wacky places. Sometimes it's a classic dorm room, you know, with the classic dorm bed and the classic dresser. Other times it's some weird shipping container or some really fancy studio and it's always in a different place. So it's not even like my actual college experience. Experience. And also, as I go through the belongings, I notice sometimes pieces of clothing are there that I haven't seen in years, that I probably decluttered many years ago, may not have even had in college, like pieces of childhood clothing that I remember. Like, for example, last night there was this one gray velour zip down sweatshirt that I remembered. Very of the times. And as I go through this stuff, I realize, oh, I should probably declutter some of this because I don't wanna bring all of this with me. So then I'm sitting there quickly speed decluttering some of my favorite clothing items from my past. And it brings up all these emotions and I find all these reasons why I should keep this or that. And then eventually I wake up from the dream in kind of like this sweaty, stressed out state, feeling overwhelmed and very glad that it was just a dream. But I feel like this dream is kind of telling on numerous levels, and I think it actually gives insight into a problem that I have historically had and that I think a lot of people have with decluttering. The first thing is, well, maybe the obvious point, that having a lot of stuff adds stress to your life. Both in the dream, it created a lot of stress for me to suddenly realize I hadn't packed up a bunch of stuff and I probably hadn't packed it up because I had a lot of stuff. But on top of that, the fact that I'm having a dream years later about this experience of packing up my stuff and the fact that it's creating so much stress for me and that it's wrapped up in going through belongings, that tells me that my stuff is genuinely getting to me, that it's stressing me out. So much so that it's even finding its way into my dreams. Like that is not a good sign for me and my relationship with stuff. But I think the second big lesson to take away from this dream that I noticed is that in that dream, part of what is so stressful is that as I go through each belonging, I have this inner battle that happens. I get so wrapped up in this decision for each item being so important and so critical to my happiness in the future. Will I regret getting rid of this belonging? Will I be glad I got rid of it? Or will I regret having kept it because it will just add to the volume of all the stuff I have and create more chaos in my life? And also what comes up is all these memories of the past. Like, I remember the time when I wore this on this fun outing with my family, or I remember this great activity I did with friends in college. And it's just like all these memories come back in and then I feel guilty letting go of the belonging and I just get overwhelmed. And then I'm making stressful decisions decision after stressful decision after stressful decision. And I feel like that's often how I feel when I declutter, or at least I especially did as I started the decluttering process. But what I've realized is as I declutter more, that is not the way to go about decluttering. What I used to do as I decluttered is that I'd get wrapped up in each decision and I would just get so into the weeds. I'd be like zoomed in on the situation, on that particular object, and I'd get super wrapped up in this inner dialogue about the specific belonging. But instead, as I've decluttered, I found that what helps me more is to try to step back, to basically zoom out from the situation and look at the big picture. When I noticed myself getting wrapped up into those little details and that inner dialogue back and forth, I realized I need to take a second and talk to myself and say, hey, Aylin, think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. 
What is more important to you than the individual belongings? It's the memories that I have made while using those belongings. It's the relationships I've developed. It's new experiences and living life and learning new things and traveling to new places. It's not the particular t-shirt or velour sweatshirt I was wearing on that particular day. And it's interesting how emotionally my mind attaches those emotions and those memories to the belongings. So much so that I'm thinking about belongings in my dream that I've decluttered potentially decades ago. So that shows how my brain is so sticky. It's like I remember the belongings from so long ago. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. If you're like me, let me know. But basically my point is when I'm awake and I'm not in this dream where I get all wrapped up in these memories, I'm able to approach decluttering a little bit differently. And that allows me to get rid of more, a higher percentage of stuff as I declutter, which ultimately makes my life better and easier because it takes less time to take care of all my stuff. But my point is, I think the key to this is to remember to zoom out. And so that's kind of, I guess, the tip that I wanna to share today. I know it's a simple concept, but I think it's so important that I really wanna emphasize it. You can, in the moment, when you're getting overwhelmed and getting sucked into the decision-making around a particular belonging, you can step back and focus on what's more important to you in life. You can think about what are my bigger goals right now? What do I really want my life to look like? And do I really need to bring this belonging into my future? Do I really want to have to carry it around with me for the rest of my life? And I do want to add one reassuring thing about this dream is just because you let go of a belonging doesn't mean you won't remember it. And I know that sounds weird because sometimes a particular object is kind of sentimental to me, but I can still remember back to that velour zip down sweatshirt and remember what it felt like to zip it up and feel cozy in it. And sure, I won't remember everything. I won't remember every belonging, but if it's important enough to me, I'll remember it. And I don't need to keep it just to remember it. And I think that when we look at life in general in this more values-based big picture way, it allows us to live in a more values-driven way, which ultimately I think in the long run leads us to be happier. So my message today is short and simple, but this is just a reminder to not get caught up in the details, to take the big picture approach and to let go. Don't let your stuff control how you think and how you live your life. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this, everyday chats on decluttering, minimalism, simple living, and building an empowering mindset, then hit the subscribe button below. That's also a great way to support the channel. So if you're a regular viewer, I'd really appreciate it if you just subscribed as well. I know I hate it when I find a YouTuber that I enjoy on some level and then I don't subscribe and then I can never find them again. So if you have any interest, just join along. Anyway, thank you for spending this little bit of time with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.